to pass. So if he said he's coming back, I have no doubt. Jesus said, take up the bed and walk, and he did. Jesus said, Lazarus, you come forth, and he did. Jesus said, if you'll trust only in my name, I will save you by grace, and you know that he will. So if he said he's coming back again, I have no reason to doubt. He'll return with a trump of God, and he'll leave here with a shout. Everything that Jesus said he'd do has come to pass. So if he said he's coming back, And I believe that the trumpet's going to sound so loud One day it'll raise the dead Everything that Jesus said he'd do has come to pass So if he said he's coming back, I have no doubt Jesus said, take up the bed and walk and eat it. Oh, yes. Jesus said, Lazarus, you come forth, and he did. Jesus said, if you'll trust only in my name, I will save you by grace. And you know that he will. So if he said he's coming back again, I have no reason to doubt. He'll return with a trump of God, and he'll leave here with a shout. Everything that Jesus said he'd do has come to pass. So if he said he's coming back, I have no doubt. And I believe he's coming back just like he said. And I believe that the trumpet's going to sound so loud. One day it'll raise the day. Everything that Jesus said. So if he said he's coming back, I have no doubt. Yes, he said he's coming back, I have no doubt. He's coming back. Woo, hallelujah. I don't have no doubt at all. He says he's coming back, and I'm looking for him. Amen, and he will show up after a while. Praise the Lord. Ain't it good to be back in God's house one more time tonight? <laughs> Praise the Lord. We are here to worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's good to see everybody here tonight. Praise God. I know God is in the place, and God's going to move for somebody tonight. Amen. And we miss a uh, Brother Austin, Sister Lindsay, amen, and Brother Baylor, amen. Praise God, they're in North Carolina preaching tonight, and we're here in Raven, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. And we're going to have a great service, amen, if you just surrender everything to Jesus Christ, amen, and say, it's me, O Lord, that's standing in the need of prayer, amen. But we're going to pray tonight. It's good to have Sister Simeon and Sister back here with us tonight 
Amen with Charlotte. Uh, amen. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Good to see you, Alice and Brother David coming in here tonight. And Brother uh, Scotty, amen. Praise the Lord. We're just going to have a time. It's good to have a Sister Hilla Jean from uh, Bristol tonight, Tennessee. Amen. Praise God. And we know God is able. Praise the Lord. It's good to see every one of you here tonight. Amen. It might be raining on the outside. It has been. But I believe it can rain on the inside, don't you? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. pray that some people that really need smirkles, amen, and I want to remember a family, Brother King told me about a family, one passed away, so we want to pray for them, Sister Barbara told me about one passed away in the family, we want to remember this family also, we want to remember Larry Rose and Jennifer, amen, and uh, Bradley, amen, that lost uh, his wife and their mother, and we had their funeral yesterday, Amen. We want to hold him up in prayer. And I'm looking for <laughs> Larry and Jennifer to come back to the house of God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And maybe some more that was there at the funeral. And they promised they would come. And so we are asking God to just speak to their hearts and move up on them to come. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God there comes the food city man in. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But we want to remember Debbie Osmond's uh, dad and mom. Amen. Want to remember Neil Davis. Want to remember Orville D. Hart. Want to remember Roy Blankenship. Want to remember Lindsay's grandmother. Want to remember uh, uh, Shirley Gross tonight. Amen. We want to remember Brother King's wife also tonight. And we want to remember Bernard Short, Needs of Merkel, and Sister Norma. Amen. Want to remember her. Amen. And we want to remember all you that's here tonight. Amen. In God's house, you that need prayer. Prayer does change things. Amen. Good to have Brother Parks back with us again yeah. tonight. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank God. God. Good to see each and every one of you. But we're going to pray and we're going to get right into the service tonight. <laughs> Amen. And let God bless you and Whatever you have need of, he's here tonight. Amen. Praise God. And uh, just uh, I'm going to ask Brother Seth to pray for his request. Boy, he likes me to use him one night. I don't have Buddy here. Amen. Praise the Lord. He does a great job. That's the second Danny. Uh, this old boy will never be dead as long as he's living. Amen. So always remember that. You'll have to put up with Danny for a long time. If Jesus turns, is coming. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Brother Austin has kindly grown a little bit tonight. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Good to have Brother Gene here and play with us. Amen. Brother Christopher played for us this morning. Amen. But I'm going to ask Brother Seth. Amen. To pray for all these requests. Hallelujah. Let's stand across the sanctuary. Lift both hands towards heaven. Let's begin to call on the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we love you tonight. We praise you tonight. God, we thank you for what we feel in this place. I thank you, God, for what you're going to do in this place, God. I pray, Lord, you will help us, Lord, to get our minds and our hearts on you tonight. Lord, that you will have your free will. You will have your free course tonight. And worship, Lord, and in the word, God, prepare our minds and our hearts to receive your word tonight. Whatever the message may be, God, I want to hear from you tonight. Almighty God, bless in the worship, bless in the preacher, bless each and every one that's gathered here tonight. And will never fail to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor for it. In Jesus' name. Man. The battle for the top suddenly took a turn. Soldier at my side, I threw down the sword and run. When the enemy came in, like a mighty rushing flood, they broke up and promised our safety in the blood. So don't give up the thought, I'm fighting for the right cause I'll do anything. Anything, oh, anything but surrender. Though it brings me to my knees, God will hear my plea. I'm ready to first standard against the enemy. No waving a flag, throwing in a pound on an old right hill. Let's go ahead and hide. I don't play any bitch, cause it's not over yet. Call out of anything, anything, oh anything but 
for somebody tonight. How may tower thou, old devil, tonight? I said, how may tower thou, old devil, tonight? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. God wants to do something tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's give God some praise up in here. Hallelujah. Well, now listen to me, devil. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. You watch on me long enough. Now I'm going to walk on you. I'm so tired of the devil. You have me my way too long. Going to raise my hands or heaven. I'm going to sing the victory song. You told me I couldn't make it. You told me then not to try. But listen to me, devil, I'm going to serve Jesus till I die. I'm so tired of Satan. You have me my way too long. I'm going to raise my head or ever. And I'm going to sing the best of the song. Well, you told me I couldn't make it. You told me to turn my back. The devil, I know better. I got more chips than that. I'm so tired of the devil. You have me my way too long. I'm going to raise my hands forever. I'm going to say the victory song. Well, we got the right to shout. And we got the right to sing. The devil ain't got nothing. Our children have everything. I'm so tired of the devil. Let me bow way too long. Well, if you're Pentecostal and you're tired of being down, say, get behind me, say, turn, we're on shouting ground. I'm so tired of you, devil. You have me my way too long. I'm going to raise my head to heaven. I'm going to sing the victory song. Well, I wrote a little message. I wrote it just for you. I wrote this little message. It's the bottom of my shoe. I'm so tired of the devil. Listen to me, devil. 
Let me tell what I'm going to do. You want to be like a book, but I'm going to walk for you. I'm so tired of the devil. Yeah, I mean, I'm way too long. I'm going to raise my hand to heaven. I'm going to sing a victory song. Well, you told me I couldn't make it. You told me to try. But well, listen to me, devil. I'm going to serve Jesus till I die. I'm so tired of the devil. That means I'm way too long. Woo! I'm going to raise my hand to heaven. I'm going to sing a victory song. Well, you told me I couldn't make it. You told me to turn my back. But devil, I know better. I got more sense than that. I'm so tired of the devil. Let me die away too long. I'm going to raise my hands forever. I'm going to sing a victory song. Well, we got the right to shout. We got the right to sing. The devil ain't got nothing. Got children and everything. I'm so tired of the Satan. Let me die away too long. Well, if you're apostolic and you're tired of being bound, they get behind me, make the touch, we're all shouting ground. I'm so tired of the devil. Let me die way too long. I'm gonna raise my hands to heaven. And I'm gonna sing a bit too song. Well, I wrote a little Ooh. message. I wrote it just for you. I wrote this little message at the bottom of my shoe. I'm so tired of the devil. Let me die away too long. I'm going to raise my hand forever. And I'm going to sing a victory song. Listen to me, devil. Let me tell what I'm going to do. You walked on me long enough now. I'm going to walk on you. I'm so tired of the devil. You have been my way too long. I'm going to raise my hand forever. I'm going to sing a victory song. Well, listen to me, devil. Let me tell what I'm going to do. You walked on me long enough now. I'm going to walk on you. I'm so tired of the devil. I'm going to raise my hand forever. I'm going to sing the victory song. Well, yeah, hallelujah. Well, he's got on the platform. At the door, he's got his name in corner, he's got all over the floor, and I know God has done it. I've got a change, I know God has done it. Well, he's got to heal my body, he's got to share my soul, he filled me with the Holy Ghost, he's got to make me whole. I know God has done it. I've got a change, I know God has done it. And he will make me Well, he's got with a lot of He's going up on the road. He's going up in heaven. He's gone down in my soul. I know God is God. I know the change. I know God is God. And he is in me. Well, he's gone in the middle of the ocean. He's gone in the middle of the sea. He's gone to the ocean. He's gone all over me. I know God is God. I know the change. I know God is God. Well, he's gone in the prison, he's gone in right sin, he's gone in the Lord's valley, he'll bring you out of sin. I know God is God, I know they'll change, I know God is God, and Jesus is his name. Well, he's gone in keep his children, he's gone in favor hell, he's gone in fire and furnace, he's gone in great I am. I know God is God. I don't ever change, I know God is God, and Jesus is his name. Well, he's God in Alabama, he's God in Tennessee, he's God in Virginia, and he's God all over me. I know God is God, I don't ever change, I know God is God, and 
Well, he's God in the Father, God in the Son. He's God in the Holy Ghost, and all these three are one, and I know God is one. I know there's a change, I know God is one. There's a change, I know God is one. Well, they call us holy rollers. They're always making fun. But they need to get the Holy Ghost, make it another time. I know God is God. I know God is God. Well, some say give me good, some say give me bell, and I say give me Jesus, he's God, I cannot fail. I know God is God, God on earth, I know God is God, oh, Jesus is his name. Well, you can't read the whole Bible, read it through and through, you'll find there's only one God, not the other two. I know God is God, God on earth, I know God is God. Sister. Well, he's called the great almighty. He's oh, called the rest of the world. I feel his presence and makes me want to shout. I know God is God. God don't live change. I know God is God. God don't live change. I know God is God. Go ahead. Well, he's called the God on the platform. Come the Lord. He's called all over the corners. He's called on over the floor. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, well, he's going to heal my body. He's going to save my soul. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. He's going to make me whole. And I know God is God. And God don't change. I know God is God. And Jesus is Well, he's coming about in flashes. He's coming about the road. He's coming up in heaven. He's gone down in my soul. And I know God is God. And God don't change. Well, he's God in the middle of the ocean. He's God in the middle of the sea. He's God of your creation. He's God all over me. I know God is God. He is God. God is God. God is God. Well, God is my fairness. He's God in the He's God in the heaven. Yeah, and I know God is God. Well, he's God in the prison. He's God in the right there. He's God in the Lord's valley. He'll bring you out of sin. I know God is God, and I don't have God is God, oh, and Jesus is his name. Well, he's God in human children. He's God of favor, hell. He's God of the fire burnings. He's God of great I am. I know God is God, and I don't have God is God, and Jesus is his name. Well, he's God in Alabama, he's God in Tennessee, he's God right here in Raven, he's God all over me. I know God is God, and God don't live change. I know God is God, and he is his name. Oh, you ought to say this one, he's God in the Father, God in the Son, he's God in the Holy Ghost. All these three are one, and I know God is God, and God don't live change. Let's sing that verse again. Well, he's God in the Father, God in the Son. He's God in the Holy Ghost. All these three are one, and I know God is God. God don't change. I know God is God. And Jesus is his name. Well, they call us holy rollers. They're always making fun. But they need to get out the Holy Ghost. Make it another time, and I know God is God. God don't change. I know God. Well, some say give me Buddha, some say give me Bell, but I say give me Jesus, he's God, I cannot fail. I know God is God, God don't change, I know God is God, and Jesus is the man. Well, you need to get the whole Bible, read it through and through. Your father's only one God, not the other two. I know God is God, God don't change, I know God is God, and Jesus is the man. Well, you need to get the whole Bible, well, he's got the great almighty, he's got the rich no doubt. When I'm filled with person, that makes me want to shout. I know God is God, God don't change, I know God is God, and he is me. Well, he's got the great almighty, he's got the rich no doubt. 
when I feel his person, it makes me want to shout, I know God is God. God will never change, I know God is God. And he is this his name. And I know God is God. And he is this his name. If you know who he is, give him a shout of praise tonight. Hallelujah! 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 Glory! God is God! And Jesus is His name! Hallelujah! Aren't you glad there ain't but one God and God is one? Hallelujah! Is there anything impossible with God? Well, he's God to clean Almighty. He's God when there's no doubt. When I feel his presence, it makes me want to shout. I said he's God to clean Almighty. He's God, there is no doubt. When I feel his presence, it makes me want to shout, and I know God is God. God don't ever change, I know God is God. And Jesus is his name. Well, he's God on the platform, he's come back to the door. He's God in name and corner, he's God all over the floor. And I know God is God, and God don't ever change, I know God. He's gonna heal my body. He's gonna save my soul. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. He's gonna make me whole. And I know God is God. God don't ever change. I know God is God. And He'll save me. Well, He's God in the prison. He's God in life's sin. He's God in Lovers Valley. He'll bring you out of sin. I know God is God. God don't ever change. I know God. Well, he's God in the Father, he's God in the Son, he's God in the Holy Ghost. All these three are one, I know God is God. I know God is God. Well, they call us holy rollers, they're always making fun. But they need to get the Holy Ghost. Speaking in another time, I know God is God. I know God is God. Well, some say give me Buddha, some say give me Baal, but I say give me Jesus, he's the God I cannot fail. I know God is God, God don't ever change, I know God is God, and Jesus is his name. You can read the whole Bible, read it through and through, you'll find there's only one God, not the other two. I know God is God, God don't ever change, I know God is God. Well, he's got the great almighty, he's got the rich no down. When I feel his presence, it makes me want to shout it. I know God is God, God don't ever change. I know God is God, and Jesus is his name. And I know God is God, and Jesus is his name. Well, yeah. Woo. That man knows what his name is. For one name, they ain't but one God. Hallelujah. Boy, the Spirit of the Lord's in his place tonight. Thank God. I feel the sweet Holy Ghost power. But give my wife a great big hand clap. Amen. Thank God God is working a miracle for her. Amen. And I'm so proud to say amen. She's looking better all the time. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Can't outdo God. Nothing any better than Jesus. All he wants us to do is have our faith. Not in anything but him. And truly we believe in that Jesus is God. The devils believed it and trembled. We ought to shout all over the house like Sister Alice did. Because he lives in the praise of his people. But I, I want to kn you to know tonight that God loves you. And I want to thank every one of you for praying. Because, children, it was God 
Amen. It was God. God worked a miracle, and I thank him for it. And I know that when we turn it all over to him, he's going to fix it. And I like the way he fixes things, don't you? Because when he fixes us, it's fixed. But we are so glad to have our church of our precious people. But we're going to ask Sister Sammy if somebody help her up here. I feel like it. she's got something from the Lord to share with us and, and a song to sing. And, and I just want to give her time tonight. It's good to see Sister Hope here. <laughs> and I thought the dead raised. <laughs> so good to have you, honey. We love her so much. But as they help her to the platform tonight, we're going to pray over the offering. And we want you to give as the Lord would lay it upon your heart. And children, give as a cheerful giver. And watch God bless you back. Now, would you pray with us tonight? Jesus, Lord, as we come before you, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. Lord, we know that you're God, and beside you there is none other. And Lord, I thank you for what you've done and what you're going to do. Lord, I pray that you would just anoint our associate, Lord, like he'd never been anointed before. He would touch the hearts and the lives, Lord, that are in the pews of the church, Lord. And God, I ask you to heal, to save, and deliver. And Lord, I thank you for what we feel already here, Lord, and we know that once our people get their minds centered upon you, it's going to be even greater. Now, God, I pray, Lord, that you would just anoint, bless, Lord, and move by your Spirit. Now, God, in behalf of this offering, would you speak? May they give, Lord, as it would be pleased, and take this offering, Lord, to stretch it to meet every need, and we'll never fail to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now we got something. Can you say praise the Lord, sir? Praise the Come Lord. Come on, can you say it? But will you say it? Yeah. Come on, has he praise done something? Oh, come on, church. Has he done something for you? He's done something for me. He's letting me live, Sister Vanessa. He's letting me praise him and give him honor and give him glory. Come on, church. We need to have church. We need to start being the church. I don't even know what to sing tonight, but there's an old, old song in my heart tonight. I don't know, though, if I can tell you what it is yet, will I? But, you know, uh, I heard the voice of the Lord say, come on. Just come on. That's what he's saying to you tonight. Come on. I want you to come higher. I got something I want you to have. More of me. That's what he keeps telling me. How many wants more of him? You can have all you want. There's an old old song that said Jesus has a table spread. Don't he, sister? Where the saints of God are fed. Said he invites us, his chosen people coming down. Said with his manna he doth feed and supplieth every need. Oh, tis sweet to sup with Jesus. All the time. Not just some of the time, all the time. We got a right. You sang a song, I got a right to praise him. Sometime if I could, Brother Zed, I'd jump ten feet off the floor if I could get up there. Like your papa says to us, used to jump a fence, now I can't jump an inch. <laughs> but I can sure praise him loud when he lets me. Woo, yeah. Ho ho! I said he can sure, I can sure praise him when he lets me do it. But this song's old. One day I heard a voice say, if you'll make me your choice, I'll drive away your every care, and I'll set you free. Think about it. So I came to him that day, and he washed my sins away. Now I don't want nothing here to hinder me. I sure don't medicine. I don't want nothing here, sing with me, to 
84 years. You think about that, 84 years. <laughs> the dance on the devil's head whenever I could. Amen. So if I can't, you have to. Yeah. Come, I'll praise him when you dance on his head. Why? Because he's made you who you are. God brought you out of the Mari clay. He didn't call you to sit on the seat and do nothing. Do no, it he nothing. did not. Amen. He gave us a job, Sister Kathy. He said, you're the light of the world. You're like a city, sit on a hill, cannot be hid. You want the rest of it? Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. We call him Jesus. I call him Lord. Come on, he made a way for me. And he made one for you through the cross. We owe him, Sister May, we owe him. He don't know us nothing. He paid, would you pray for me? I got a prayer request for us sit down. I got a daughter that's been laying in the hospital about three months. She got lost and they had to find her. She has a disease called Lewy body dementia. And it shrinks the brain till it just but she was brought up a child of God. You hear me tonight? Hallelujah. Would you please hear this? She was brought up a child of God. She knows the ways of the Lord. Do y'all hear me? God made me a promise. Through the spirit of prophecy, Brother Danny, he said, he said, I'm going to save your family. Said, <laughs> you hear that, devil? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he said, some will come before you go to your reward, and some will come after. Well, God's done took one home. She was ready. She went. Y'all hear that? I got three more. God made me a promise. But you know, if the enemy will do all he can. Prophecies are true. Yeah, I know some will fail, but the real true 
prophetic word of God that comes out of heaven, it'll never fail. And it'll bear witness. And I hear God this morning telling the church, I've given you a choice. What you going to do with it? What you going to do with the choice God give you? For me and my house, Sister America, we'll serve the Lord. What you going to do with your choice? Come on, while you're in the house tonight together, come into one mind. Feed us, God, with the bread of life. Feed us. Anybody hungry? Anybody hungry in here for the word? Anybody hungry? Oh, come on, church. Come on. Uh, then if you're hungry, when the man of God comes to break the bread, then you'll get in there with him and pull it out of him. Come, you won't sit on your seat. Uh, come on, you'll praise God every time you hear a word that'll help you come a little higher because we're going to heaven. Come on, you're not going just by your works. you got to have works, but it's not but just works. you got to have some faith, just a grain, and he give you a measure of it. It's up to you how big it gets. You can have a little bit if you want it. You can have enough to move mountains. And he said that mustard seed will let you do it. Somebody ain't got enough yet. Me. I need some more, Jesus. So I'm going back here and sit down and praise God. Praise the Lord, church. Would you give Jesus and your pastor a great big hand? Woo! Ain't that good? 84 young, young, not old, young woman. Amen. And I believe she is doing better than I am. Amen. And she's a few years older than me. Amen. But if she hangs around much longer, I'll catch her. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the flesh gets old, but the spirit don't. And that's what counts tonight. Give him a great big hand. <laughs> The flesh gets old. The spirit does not get old. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I'm glad for that tonight. Praise God, his holy name. Amen. God is so great. God is so good. We cannot praise him enough. Hallelujah. You might get to you can't see. You might get you can't hear. Amen. But that don't change the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. You might get you can't walk, but the Spirit of God is the same. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's the flesh, amen, that gets out of order and things happens to the flesh, but I'm so glad tonight the Spirit, amen, will move and glorify God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I'm going to preach just a little bit tonight, amen, and I know my God is able, and I want you to go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, begin the verse 10 tonight, uh, amen, they something about the word of God, they something about the armor of God, and if I was to title this message tonight, I would title it the armor of God, huh? How many believes we've got to put on the whole armor? Huh? Amen. Yes, we do. Huh? I'm going to do like always. I'm going to read a few scriptures, huh? and I'm going to back up and preach on it. Huh? Amen. But the Bible said, finally, my brother, huh? and be strong in the Lord, huh? and then the power of his might. Huh? Put on the whole armor of God. Huh? that ye may be able to stand uh, against the wiles of the devil. Uh, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh, uh, but against principalities, uh, against the powers, uh, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, uh, against the prince of 
spiritual weakness in high places. Uh, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, uh, and that ye may be able uh, to withstand the evil day, uh, and have done all to stand. Uh, amen. You can be seated if you like, or you can stand or run or shout. Uh, amen. But I want to ask Jesus tonight. And say, Jesus, I want you to anoint these clay lips tonight. Uh, uh, Lord, let the word of God come from the heart uh, and go into the hearts of the people here tonight. Uh, and Lord, we look unto thee where our strength uh, and our help come up from. And, and we thank you for every miracle uh, uh, that you have performed. Uh, thank you for working a miracle for my wife, Jesus. Uh, oh, we know you your able Lord. Uh, we thank you for working a miracle for Sister Alice Shelton uh, uh, today. Amen. Thank God. Uh, and we're going to give you the praise uh, and the glory and honor for everything. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Uh, and everybody say amen. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Uh, amen. That's what we need to be strong at tonight. Uh, honey, we don't need to be strong in the flesh. Uh, honey, we need to be strong in the Lord. Uh, we know there is people less weight. Uh, they build up muscles. They're strong in the flesh. Uh, but we need to be strong in the Lord. Uh, amen. And I believe when we're lifting up our hands, uh, Honey, to Jesus, amen, we're lifting weights up to him, huh? and he's going to make us strong, huh? honey, in the spirit of God, huh? amen, we need to be strong, huh? honey, in the word of God, huh? honey, the devil knows all about us, huh? he knows if we've got power over him or not, huh? amen, he knows exactly when to attack you, huh? he knows when to come in, huh? Amen, but thank God we order, honey, be strong in the Lord. Amen, when the devil comes in, we ought to let him know, devil, we've got power, honey, over you. You're not going to destroy me. You're not going to tell me this and tell me that. Because Jesus said, I give you power, honey, over the devil, honey, we can put him under our feet huh? and we can walk upon him huh? and we can tread upon him huh? and he's a devil huh? and he don't have no power huh? over God's children huh? and because he gave us power huh? and he over the devil huh? and we need to let the devil know huh? uh, Mr. Devil we got power over you huh? and you're not going to walk all over me and we are going to walk all over you and because we're strong in Jesus Christ tonight and in the flesh is weak but the spirit is willing tonight and we need to let the spirit lead us and guide us and if you've got the Holy Ghost and you've got the leader you've got the guider and we need to say, well, Holy Ghost, lead me and guide me through this world tonight. Honey, the devil's out there. He come to kill. He come to destroy. He come to take your joy. Well, hallelujah. But Jesus said, I want your joy to be full. I want your cup to run over. Well, hallelujah. Honey, I'm here to tell the church, honey, the devil, he don't have power over you tonight. And don't let the devil, honey, sit on the shoulder and use a year for a garbage can. We need to tell that devil to get off their back. And we'll walk on in Jesus' name. Well, hallelujah, they ain't no other name, and he give on, hallelujah, that's got any power. Hallelujah, 
Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost power. I feel the sweet spirit of the Lord. Amen. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. If we understand what the armor of God is, amen, the armor, and it don't have no back in it. I need the armor of God. We put the armor on and we hit the devil face on. You don't turn your back. And if on no Satan, if you turn your back upon him, he'll put a tiger in your back. But he can't put the tiger in the chest. Well, hallelujah. Sister May, ever furry dog. And if that comes, as long as you're facing the devil, and he hit it go off. Well, hallelujah. But if you turn your back upon the devil, he'll put a spear in your back tonight. Oh, my God. And if you don't turn your back on the devil, you hit him head on. Woo, glory. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the glory of God tonight. Amen. They summed about this. The Lord gave me his message from a few weeks ago. Amen. I don't know about you, but I want to be strong in the Lord. Honey, this old fleshly body honey, you're looking at tonight, it don't have very much strength. I'm not very strong. As a matter of fact, I can't lift 50 pounds. But thank God in the spirit of the Lord. I'm like little David. Amen, Brother Gene. Amen, David was a little rudy man, a short man, but he had the power of Jesus Christ. And they, whoo, hallelujah. And he went out against the giant. And that old giant said, Give me a man. Whoo, hallelujah. And he died. David, he wasn't a man, he was just a young boy, but he had the power in his hand. Yeah. Woo, yeah. hallelujah. Oh, he went down. And by the brook, amen, he picked up five smooth stones. Amen, he had a little thing in his hand. Amen, he only need one stone. Amen, that one stone represented something. The five stones represented something. Amen. Oh, give me a man. Amen, when he walked out, and then this old child, I saw this little fella come on. And you imagine what went through his mind. No doubt he said, oh, what are you going to do, boy? Hey, man, I'm going to tell you, with that slingshot, he went around and around. And when he let go of it, honey, that one stone hit him between the eyes. And he went backwards. Hey, man, and little day. David uh, walked up on his chest uh, and pulled his sword uh, out of his shelter uh, and cut his head off. Uh, well, give me a man. Uh, it don't take a man. Uh, it takes a little child. Uh, it takes somebody. Uh, and it is strong. Uh, and he in God. Uh, well, hallelujah. Uh, and it people. Uh, and it they size up us. And by the size we are, and in the size of the flesh, don't have anything to do with it. And it but the spirit that lives in that flesh. Yeah. Woo! Hallelujah. Honey, it means something. 
Amen. And we know uh, by the fruit that we bear. Uh, amen. Hear me tonight. Uh, honey, a good tree uh, uh, cannot bring forth corrupt fruit. Uh, and a corrupt tree uh, uh, cannot bring forth good fruit. Uh, honey, that's why we got to be strong uh, in the power uh, of the mighty God. Uh, honey, I'm glad. Uh, honey, he'll fill you. Uh, honey, up to the brim. Uh, hey, Amen. And your cup uh, will run over. Uh, and if that cup runs over, uh, it'll get on somebody else. Uh, amen. And his cup will get full. Uh, and it'll run over on somebody else. Uh, well, hallelujah. Don't you like to spill uh, that spirit of the Lord uh, over on somebody else? Uh, and let them uh, get a blessing. Uh, and they like you do. Uh, raise him, man. I feel the hand of God. Amen. The Bible said, put on the whole armor of God, the whole armor, not half of it. Honey, a lot of people don't put it all on. And that's where they get in trouble at. Amen. When the devil began to throw these evil spirits at you, these daggers at you, if you ain't got on the whole armor, it's going to hit you. But if you've got on the whole armor of God, it's going to just clank off. Amen. And don't turn you back, honey, upon the devil. If you do, you're in trouble. We need to march forward. We need to go forward. We don't need to look to a right or look to a left. We need to look just straight ahead. <coughs> but the devil will try to pull you this way, and he'll try to pull you that way. He'll try to stop you. He'll set up stumbling blocks. But we've got the power. Brother said the kick over the stumbling blocks. We've got the power to climb over any mountain that the devil can put before us tonight. Amen. If you think the devil's going to stop, honey, you've got the wrong idea. He's going to keep on. He's going to keep on. He's going to try to put his clutches into you and pull you back and pull you this way and pull you that way. Honey, but we has got the Holy Ghost and they're strong in the Lord. Honey, we're going to go forward the devil ain't going to pull us neither way. The devil ain't going to stop us. Amen. We've been in this thing too long. And we've been on both sides of the fence. And we know where the power and he lies tonight. And the devil, he don't have that kind of power. Well, hallelujah. But Jesus said, I've got all power in heaven and in earth and that's the power honey that we need tonight Woo, hallelujah amen God is good sometimes I need a new set of lungs and I do all I'll get them amen praise God listen God we may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. Boy, the devil's got all kinds of walls out here. He's got all kinds of little demon spirits uh, running around uh, and talking about this and talking about that. Uh, hey, man, but the only thing you hear Jesus talk about uh, is the word of God uh, and the blessings that have come down from heaven. Uh, hey, man, thank God. Uh, you may have a bad hard day. Uh, you may have a bad day on your job. Uh, you might have a bad day with your family. Uh, honey, but the good will outweigh the bad if you pray and seek the face of God he will open the windows of heaven up and pour out you a blessing there won't be room enough to receive it well hallelujah and a lot of your family and friends and neighbors 
and then they'll look at you and say, I don't see how you can take it. I don't see how you can stand it. And it because you've got the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Ghost, you wouldn't be able to stand it. Without the Holy Ghost, you wouldn't be able to take it. But with the Holy Ghost, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Amen. The strength comes from him. Amen. We don't have it in the flesh. It's not in the flesh. Amen. It's not in the flesh, but the Spirit lives inside of the flesh. Amen. And the Holy Ghost comes out of your most inner beings. Uh, thank God. And if you get the Holy Ghost to fire, uh, honey, after old Satan, uh, he'll have to run off and leave you. Uh, amen. He won't stay around uh, where the Holy Ghost to fire is. Uh, no, he won't. Uh, you'll run him off, but he's like an old black cat. Uh, he'll come sneaking back. Uh, amen. you got to stay on your toes. Uh, you got to stay prayed up uh, and ready to go up, honey, because that devil, he ain't going to quit. He ain't going to leave you alone, but we are not going to quit rebuking him. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, glory, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you tonight for what I feel. Lord, I thank you for the spirit. Lord, I thank you for the love of God that will cover a multitude of sin. Amen. The Bible said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers, against the ruler of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. Uh, honey, that's what we're wrestling against tonight. Uh, that's what we're fighting against. Uh, honey, with all this I just read, uh, we don't fight against flesh and blood. Uh, amen. But thank God we fight against all these other things. Uh, amen. Just as sure uh, that these make you on cloud nine. Uh, honey, that's when the devil will sneak under you uh, and try to pull the props out and under you. Uh, but that's why we got to praise him uh, and say, Jesus, I thank you. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. He said, Lo, I go all the way, even to the end of the world. Well, glory, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the hand of God here tonight. Well, Hannibal, Woo, hallelujah. Church ain't something about praising him. Amen. Ain't something about praising him. Amen. Honey, we don't need to let the devil get an upper hand on us. Amen. You know, when the devil attacked you at your worst day, at your worst time, amen, that's when he sneaks in. He's not going to bother you as long as you are all clouds out and you're prayed up and ready to go up. Well, hallelujah. I feel the glory of God. Amen. People say, Brother Short, you need to take your time. How can you? When the Spirit of the Lord comes down. Amen. Thank God. Honey, this is better felt and told. Hey, man, I love to feel, uh, honey, the presence of God. Uh, yeah, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh, but against the principalities. Uh, amen, against the powers, uh, against the rulers of the darkness uh, of this world, against spiritual weakness uh, in high places. Uh, honey, we fight, uh, honey, this spiritual weakness and stuff uh, in high places. Uh, hey, man, hear me, uh, honey, the government don't have the HR. Honey, the president don't have the HR. 
Honey, we pray every day for the decisions that they make. Amen. It's not for God's people. Are you hearing me tonight? Thank God, but we got to pray. And I know the Bible said pray for the leaders. Honey, of our nation that we do, we pray that God will speak to the heart, that God will save them. And if they become a Christian, honey, they have a different attitude. Honey, I'm glad we are on our way to heaven. Amen. And the devil is going to try to hinder you every way that he can. But he's a loser. He's a loser. Honey, he's doomed from hell. And he knows there's no hope for him. Honey, but you and I, honey, we've got hope. Oh, we're on the other side. But we've got hope. When the last breath is gone out of these bodies, we're going to wake up in a new city, in a new country, in a new land. Well, hallelujah. He said the formal things is passed away. But behold, I make all things new. We're going to have a new home, a new body. We're going to have a new city. Amen. And the devil won't be there. Amen. There will be no sickness there. There will be no wheelchairs there. There will be no walkers there. There will be, be no groaning and grunting over there. Everybody will be happy. I said everybody will be happy over there. And Brother Charlie Pruitt used to sing this song. Everybody will be happy over there. Don't you wish everybody was happy down here? Hey, Amen. And we could be if everybody would get their mind a sinner direct upon the word of God and love one another and let the joy of the Lord come into their heart and life and let us be happy. God has given me a vision of bits and pieces of heaven. He's given me a vision of hell. Amen. And I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I want to go to heaven when this life is over. And you know we can. Amen. The pastor can't keep you from going. Huh? The preacher, the evangelist can't keep you from going. Huh? Your husband or wife can't keep you from going. Huh? Your children can't keep you from going. Huh? And because he said, you choose this day huh? whom you must serve. I love the Lord. Thank God. Amen. Praise God. Brother says, I'm going to let you come and say something tonight. Praise God. Let me catch my breath. <laughs> Brother Gene, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I feel like I've worked about eight hours in the coal mines. <laughs> amen. Thank God. <laughs> Honey, where the Spirit of the Lord is, uh, uh, there is liberty. Uh, I'm glad we got liberty tonight. Uh, would you give Brother Seth uh, a great big hand clap as he comes tonight? Thank God. Hallelujah. Let's give that hand clap to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. How many's on the winning side tonight? I said, how many's on the winning side tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's just praise him for a moment. Hallelujah. I think we just need to give God some praise for a moment. God wants to do something tonight. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we praise you tonight. Uh, oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Woo, glory, hallelujah. Praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. How many knows that the battle doesn't belong to us, but the battle belongs to God? Amen. Hallelujah. I'm reminded of the story, amen, of Second Chronicles. You may be seated if you want to. Hallelujah. Or stand whatever you feel like doing. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 20, it tells us about King Jehoshaphat. And King Jehoshaphat, they were in a battle. Hallelujah. And the prophet Jehaziel came to Jehoshaphat and said, Be not dismayed. 
or discouraged. Hallelujah. He said, be not afraid uh, or dismayed, for the battle is not yours, uh, but the battle is God's. Uh, I want to tell somebody here tonight, no matter what you're going through tonight, uh, the battle is God's. Uh, if you're fighting depression, the battle is God's. Uh, if you're fighting anxiety, the battle is God's. Uh, Y'all ain't hear me tonight. Uh, if you're fighting oppression, uh, the battle belongs to God. Uh, if, hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah, hallelujah, if you're fighting, uh, hallelujah, the things of this world, uh, if you're fighting lust of the eye, uh, lust of the flesh, uh, and the pride of life, I want to tell you tonight that the battle belongs to God. Hallelujah. I said the battle belongs to God. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what your husband does. It doesn't matter what your wife does. Uh, it doesn't matter what your children does. Uh, but let me tell you, the battle belongs to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was thinking when pastor was preaching in that scripture, he mentioned about the whole. Somebody say whole. Whole armor of God. Hallelujah. Then he mentioned that about where sometimes we don't have the whole armor of God on. But we may have 50% of the armor on. We may have 25% of the armor on. I, I want to tell somebody tonight, you cannot, you don't have to put the whole armor on. I say you don't have to put the whole armor on. Why? Because that's your choice. But the devil has been finding me, brother, said, well, put on the whole armor of God. Because if you don't have the whole armor of God on, the devil's going to have his way. Hallelujah. You know the devil, he is a liar. Hallelujah. And the devil never wins. But I can tell you how he can win. It's if you let him. Hallelujah. But we're not going to let the devil win tonight. I say we're not going to let the devil win tonight. Hallelujah. Because the devil is bound for hell. He is a liar. And he's a liar and a father of it. Hallelujah, the truth is nowhere in the devil. I don't care what the devil tells you tonight. He's a liar. Hallelujah, the, te the devil tells me a lot of things, but I tell that old slew foot that he is a liar. Hallelujah, y'all don't hear me tonight. Hallelujah, because Jesus said, in his word we say it all the time, that he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. I want to tell somebody here tonight, if you may be like on a dead end tonight uh, and there's nowhere to go uh, there's not a right uh, there's not a left uh, and there's not a front or behind uh, I want to tell you tonight uh, that he is the way uh, he is the way maker uh, he's the miracle Glory. worker uh, hallelujah he's the promise keeper uh, he's the light uh, in the darkness uh, good God almighty uh, I wish somebody hear me tonight amen hallelujah Hallelujah. I won't take too much time because I think Pastor's on fire tonight. And I know he's got a lot more to say, and I want to hear it tonight. Y'all didn't hear me. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for the Word of God. You know, he hasn't got down to it yet, but I'm sure he will. In that next scripture, a few scriptures down, it says, In the sword of the Spirit. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. Hallelujah. This is how we fight our battles. We're going to see a victory tonight. Somebody's going to see a victory tonight because it's promised to you. Hallelujah. You know, we cannot fight our battles if we don't have the Holy Ghost. Because Jesus said, I was telling, we were in North Carolina a couple nights ago, Friday night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there was a good young man, just a brand new comfort. He just got into the church in Morganton. Uh, he came and introduced himself to me. And he said, my and I'll, I'll say, I won't say his name out of uh, privacy and respect. But he said, my name is Brother So-and-So. It's good to meet you. I've heard a lot of things about you. Well, it's good to meet you, brother. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, Brother Richard, he's a great man there at Morganton, a soul winner on fire. And he began to tell me how they reached this young man. Uh, and he's actually my age. He'll be, he's 21. I'll be 21 here in a few weeks. Uh, hallelujah. And he began to talk about the Holy Ghost. He's seeking after the Holy Ghost. He 
really wants the Holy Ghost. Uh, hallelujah. And I told him, it's like, buddy, the Holy Ghost is for you. Uh, hallelujah. He said, well, I prayed really, really hard tonight, and I didn't get the Holy Ghost. I was like, well, you can't force it. Uh, you just got to let God take over. Uh, hallelujah. And begin to explain to him the scripture, why the, what is important uh, of the Holy Ghost. Because when Jesus, when he went to the cross, he died, and he was laid in the tomb and rose the third day. We know that story. Uh, hallelujah. When he went on the Mount of Olives, uh, and when before he went and descended, uh, ascended up into heaven, uh, he told his disciples basically to be in the upper room. Uh, hallelujah. Because I'm going to see him. Amen. John 14, 18 said that I will not leave you, for I will come to you. And that's what Jesus did on the day of Pentecost. Uh, he came back uh, as a Holy Ghost uh, in the the upper room uh, and fell on 120. Uh, I want to tell somebody tonight, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is for you. Uh, hallelujah. Because the Bible says, Peter said, it's promised. Uh, it's promised uh, to you uh, and to your children and to all that's so far off as many uh, as our Lord God shall call. Uh, I don't know when you'll get it, but if you let God take over, if you utter unto the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost will hit you. And when you get the Holy Ghost, Jesus said in Acts 1 and 8, he said, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost uh, is come upon you. And let me say this before I turn it back over. Uh, when you got the Holy Ghost, uh, you got power over that devil. Uh, you got power uh, over depression. Uh, you got power uh, over anxiety. Uh, you got power uh, over every lie of the enemy. Uh, I don't care what your family member says. Uh, I don't care what your relative says. I don't care what your friend says. You got power. You got power over the devil. You got power. Every attack of the enemy, when those fiery darts comes at you, you got power over those fiery darts. Somebody don't hear me tonight. Hallelujah. Take that sword of the spirit, uh, the helmet of salvation, uh, the breastplate of righteousness, uh, and we're going to win till the end uh, because one day uh, Jesus is going to come back uh, on the cows of glory. Uh, I don't know when he's coming, Brother Eddie. Uh, it may be before the end of this year. Uh, it may be 57 years later. Uh, I may be 85 uh, and go to the grave, uh, or I may be 21 uh, and be caught up in the rapture. Uh, we don't know when he's coming, uh, but baby, uh, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you're not going to make it. you got to repent. you got to be baptized in a name that's above every name. And you got to have the Holy Ghost in order to step on the other side of Jordan. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Glory, glory. What a mighty word of God from a young man. Amen. We need to get behind our young people. Amen. That is called of God. Huh? And let them work for Jesus. Huh? Amen. Yes, you shall huh? receive power huh? after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Huh? And the reason a lot of people don't have the power, huh? they don't have the Holy Ghost. Huh? With the evidence of speaking in other tongues, honey, huh? you've got power. Honey, huh? when the Spirit of the Lord, honey, huh? comes in your most inner being. And you begin to speak in other tongues. And the devil knows we've got power over him tonight. Honey, I thank God for the anointing of God. Honey, that'll go. And I believe it'll go from one to the other. Honey, if you've got your mind centered upon Jesus Christ tonight and got your mind out of the world, amen, we'll end this world, huh? but we're not out of the world, huh? honey, we're just passing through, huh? and after a while, our day will come, huh? amen, and somebody, huh? honey, will pick up her anointing, huh? oh, my God, the anointing don't die, huh? only the flesh dies, huh? but the spirit goes back to God, huh? but somebody huh? is going to pick up the anointing huh? that we leave behind, huh? oh, my God, because uh, it's for the people. Uh, I thank God tonight. Honey, uh, we'll serve on. Honey, uh, a true and a living God. Uh, amen. I believe.
believe uh, in this God. Uh, I believe in this man uh, that's called Jesus. Uh, amen. I want people to know uh, and he's looking for you. Uh, I said he's looking for you. Uh, amen. You're not looking for him. Uh, amen. But he's looking for you. Uh, and if you'll let him, uh, he'll find you. Uh, amen. Thank God. Uh, and I'm glad he came. Uh, uh, looking for me one day. Uh, and I'm glad I hear the voice. Uh, uh, come up hither. Uh, and I'll show you things to come. Uh, and I'm glad uh, we can put on the whole armor of God. Uh, and the devil can't touch you. Uh, if you don't turn your back upon him. Uh, amen. We got to march forward. Uh, and we are. Uh, we are going forward. Uh, we are not looking to the right or the to the left, but we're looking straight ahead. Well, hallelujah! And if we meet that devil and he head on, we're going to have the power and it to tread upon him and they to walk all over him because he's not going to be able and need to harm us. And because Jesus said, I give you power, and if we've got the power, honey, the the devil can't harm us. Well, glory. Thank God for Brother Seth. Amen. Oh, he said, I stand. Amen. For for take unto you uh, the whole armor of God uh, that you may be able to withstand uh, in the evil day uh, and have done all to stand. Uh, uh, church, we've never lived in an evil time like we are now. Uh, honey, nobody's ever seen a time, uh, honey, like we've seen uh, in the last two to three years. Uh, amen. But I want people to know, uh, amen, the world has changed. Uh, the people has changed, uh, honey, but the devil hasn't changed, uh, and Jesus hasn't changed. Uh, Jesus said, I'm the same yesterday and forever, uh, and I change not. Uh, and we know what Jesus can do. Uh, we know how Jesus can protect us. Uh, he says, stand therefore, uh, having your lungs girded about with truth, uh, and have on the breastplate of righteousness. Uh, amen. What is truth? Truth tonight. Uh, amen. I hear the man uh, ask that question in the Bible. Uh, uh, what is truth? Uh, I mean, Jesus is the truth. Uh, this word of God is the truth. Uh, and when we speak of the word of God, uh, we are speaking of the Son of God. Uh, we are speaking of the man that's called Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, thank God I want you to know uh, we've got a girdle on. Uh, they bound with the truth. Uh, and then on the breastplate of righteousness. Huh? The breastplate, huh? it goes on front, huh? and the devil can't come through that. Huh? He can throw all kinds of darts at you, huh? uh, but they won't go through the breastplate huh? of righteousness, thank God. Huh? Well, hallelujah. Huh? Oh, no, it won't. Huh? And your feet, huh? as shod with the preparation huh? of the gospel of peace. Huh? Well, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to put on the shoes of the gospel of peace. And that way we can walk, we can run, we can go wherever we want to go. And the devil cannot come over top of that. We'll be able to walk all over him. For the devil's mad tonight. And I am glad. Why don't you pray? Praise him. Well, hallelujah. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Well, hallelujah. Oh, how the more we cut the more And this word of God, and he is sharper than any two-edged sword. He cuts God and a cover. Even to the mark of the bone, and in this same word, and it will cut you, and it will heal you. Woo! I feel good, brother. I feel good, brother Jim. Sister May, I feel good. I feel good. I feel better all over. Boy, 
more than any voice there. Amen. Some of you probably don't feel as good as we do. Amen. Praise God. But you can. All you got to do is pray. <laughs> Woo. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And listen what the next verse says. It said, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit <laughs> and watching thereunto with all preservedness and superstition of all saints. <laughs> Amen. Listen to what it's a saying tonight. If we as the saints of God would come together tonight in one accord, and we are in one place. What could God do? And God wants to work, but he said, who will let me? He is a true and living God, and he wants us to come together in the love and the spirit of God. Like up in the upper room, amen, they heard a mighty sound, like a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house for they were sitting. And they all began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave utterance. Their mind wasn't on what they was going to do tonight or tomorrow, their mind was directed upon Jesus Christ, uh, and he sent the power uh, of the Holy Ghost down uh, in that room. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, and the same power uh, was on that day uh, is here in this place tonight. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, everybody stand to your feet. Uh, Amen. Let's stand to your feet. Let's begin to worship the Lord. I'd like to ask you to just come up front and let's praise God for a little while tonight. And this altar is open if you're lost, if you're a sinner or a backslider, if you need the Holy Ghost, come and seek God for it. Bless everybody. Get out of them seats and come on up here. Amen. And let's begin to worship the Lord and see what God has got for you tonight. There's a Marco here for somebody tonight. I said, there's a Marco here for somebody tonight. Amen. I want you to give me three women. Let's feel for the Holy Ghost uh, and some brothers to help me pray. Uh, this sister needs a miracle tonight. Uh, she needs a miracle tonight. Uh, uh, my God, uh, uh, come on up here, church. Uh, come on up here, draw nigh. Uh, draw nigh. Uh, we ain't going to bite you. Uh, come on up here. Hallelujah. Uh, woo, God, right now, Lord. Uh, well, I wish somebody saw her. That's on fire. That's on fire. That's on fire. Well, I wish somebody saw her. That's on fire. Burning with the Holy Ghost. Well, I wish somebody saw her. That's on fire. That's on fire. That's on fire. Well, I wish somebody saw her. That's on fire. Burning with the Holy Ghost. They were all in one accord. Let's not forget the sound. That the mighty rushing wind that filled the house. Where the city lived. Well, I'm going to praise the Lord tonight. Come on and worship him. It's on fire. It's on fire. I wish somebody saw her. It's on fire. It's on fire. Burn with the Holy Ghost. It's on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. Burn with the Holy Ghost. Well, I wish somebody saw her. It's on fire. Somebody's over. Catch your fire. Catch your fire. Well, I wish somebody's over. Catch your fire. Burn 
Shut up in my bones. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They spoke in other tongues as they came out of us. Well, I went to my soul. It's on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. But I wish somebody sober. It's on fire.
When I wish somebody saw one, catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire. When I wish somebody saw one, catch on fire, burn with the Holy Ghost. Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in my bones. Well, Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in my bones. Jesus is my Holy Ghost, burning in my bones. Jesus is that Holy Ghost and fire. Oh, Jesus is that Holy Ghost, burning in my bones. Oh, Jesus is that Holy Ghost, burning in my bones. Jesus is that Holy Ghost, burning in my bones. Jesus is that Holy Ghost and fire. Well, Jesus is that Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Jesus is that Holy Ghost, burning in my bones. Jesus is the Holy Ghost, burning in my bones. Jesus is the Holy Ghost in fire. Oh, why don't you praise the Lord tonight? Why don't you praise him? Hallelujah. He said, I live in the praise of my people. Woo, glory. Jesus is that Holy Ghost burning in my bones. Jesus is that Holy Ghost burning in my bones. Jesus is that Holy Ghost. Everybody, right where you stretch your hands toward me, turn Holy Ghost burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost and fire. Well, Jesus is our Holy Ghost burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost burning in my bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost burning in my bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost and fire. God, hallelujah. Glory, glory. Well, Jesus is our Holy Ghost burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost in fire. Hallelujah. Sister Faye asked me some time to go, amen, to anoint her, her, amen, and I feel led to do it tonight. Praise God, hallelujah, amen. I believe God's going to move, praise God, hallelujah, amen, amen. And as we pray over Sister Faye, don't wash your hair till Wednesday, okay? Praise God, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as I bring my wonderful sister before the throne of grace tonight, God, we anoint her, her Lord, as she wants it to grow. And God, I seen God work miracles. I seen God work wonders. I seen the signs of the Lord. And I believe in done from the Spirit. That says do hold up more Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 
Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we anoint this hair to grow, God. And Lord, we believe you're going to let it grow. Woo! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Hallelujah! Well, Jesus is our Holy Ghost. Burning in your bones, Jesus is that Holy Ghost. Burning in your bones, Jesus is that Holy Ghost. Burning in your bones, Jesus is that Holy Ghost. Jesus is that Holy Ghost. Burning in your bones, Jesus is that Holy Ghost. Burning in your bones, Jesus is that Holy Ghost. Burning in your bones, Jesus is that Holy Ghost. Well, Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost, in fire. I mean, please, he said, Holy Ghost and fire. He said, I'll baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Woo, hallelujah. And this altar is open if anybody wants to come and pray. If you're a backslider, you need to come to this altar. If you're a sinner, you need to come to this altar. Well, hallelujah. Well, Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost, in Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Jesus is our Holy Ghost. Woo! Hallelujah! Jesus is our Holy Ghost, burning in your bones. Burning in your bones. Woo! Hallelujah! Burning in your bones. God is good. He'll save you. He'll deliver you. He'll set you free. He'll give you the Holy Ghost. He'll promise to that you'll baptize in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. My, my, my. You all wore me out. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'll be a sight if I live to be a hundred one. Let's give Jesus a great big hand. Now we're going to have a Baptizing. And we may have one before then, if anybody wants to, but we got one scheduled for the 16th of October, am I right? On a Sunday night out of service, Sister Alice Shelton wants to be baptized on her birthday. Amen. So that is great news. You won't forget that night. But if anybody wants to be baptized before then, we'll do that too. Amen. But you need to be baptized if you repent. Get born again. Get your sins under the blood of the Lamb. Go to that watery grave. Come out wantless in the newness of life. I preach my heart out to you tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank Brother Seth for giving me a break. <laughs> Amen.
God is so great. God is so good. Church, you never know the last night we'll be in God's house. Never know the last time we'll all be together here on this old earth. But if we shall depart, I hope to see every one of you all in heaven. My mind's made up. Ain't going to let no devil out of hell discourage me or destroy me or turn me around. We're going forward. Going forward. Jesus never turned around and backed up and never sat down. He always went farther with those that was for him and those that was against him. He never turned nobody away. He reached out a helping hand towards him and his, to those that moved him, those that loved him. He was there for him. And so are we here at the Bible Way Church in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm proud of what Brother Seth is doing at this young age. Amen. He's got the anointing. He's got the real power. Amen. And he's not about to slow down. Amen. That's right. Thank God. And I'm going to get behind these young people that has got a calling in their life, calling of God. It's my responsibility to help them and give them the opportunity to obey God. I love the Lord. I love the young people. I love the middle-aged people. I love the elder people in which I don't believe in getting old. <laughs> Amen. I sure don't. Amen. I'd like to say October the 5th on a Wednesday night, Bishop Tom Peters will be here, Lord willing, preaching for us. That's only about the third, what, third Wednesday night, I guess. Somewhere he's there. No, it'd be it's Wednesday week, huh? Wednesday week. Amen. Praise the Lord, and we're looking for a great time in the Lord. And that's where again prayed for Brother Austin, and Sister Lindsay, and, and Baylor. Amen. That God will give him lost souls for his labor. And watch over them. Let no harm or danger come to them coming home. I pray for my children is on the road. Amen. And I thank God and I praised him for letting Frida and Seth get home last night safe. Amen. Praise God. There's nothing in our life but the Lord. Church, we've got work to do for God. Amen. And a lot of it's not just here in Raven. It's out of town. We have funerals out of town. We have people watches us on YouTube and uh, at their Instagram all over the world. Amen. And uh, I've got to get the information from Brother Seth or somebody. I got a call from Greenboro, West Virginia last night. They want to know how to get on YouTube. So, guess what? Hop on, come tell. <laughs> Amen. Don't know how you get on Instagram or nothing like that. I'll wait that day, Brother Seth. Amen. But we want to get in touch with everybody that we can. I've had a lot of funerals in Greenbrier, and I got another one. When something happens to her or she gets her wish, I preach all the song about it in her family, and she calls me every little bit. I'd like to ask everybody to um, pray for Mama. Uh, Mama and Papa Jesse I went to uh, what's the name of that place in West Virginia? Uh, what is it? 
Oceana. Oceana. We went all the way to Oceana and preached a husband and wife's funeral. Well, one of their sons had a bad accident uh, just about a week ago. His name is Ronnie. And uh, he's been on a life support. Broke his pelvis, broke his ribs, broke his arm. And they had put a crank in his neck. He's in critical condition. You may not know this man, but we do. Please pray for him that God will raise him up and bring him out. He's in the Charleston, West Virginia Hospital. And they call me every little bit about him, give me an update on him. And so we are asking you to pray for him. He's on his way to work one morning and he's almost at his workplace. And a big coal truck pulled out in front of him and he ran under it. He is in very critical condition. So we ask you to pray. How many is glad you came to church tonight? Amen. I'm glad you came. Amen. Now, I think, uh, too, at the end of this month, uh, what's that Blankenship's name that came and preached here? Gary. Gary in Beckley, West Virginia. I think they're going to uh, put him in as a pastor. Is that right? Over there in Beckley, West Virginia. I think it's on a, is it Thursday and Friday? Man, if anybody can go, they're going to uh, put him in as a pastor. Uh, he done a great job when he came here and preached. Amen. Yes, he did. Amen. He opened up a uh, keg of worms that very few of us know about. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. That's right, and I can't get into that. Amen. Praise the Lord. But uh, it, it was something, and uh, if everybody had known, amen. But uh, he done a great job. I appreciate him. Amen. And uh, so uh, anybody else got anything that's on your mind? Testimony? Thing? Portman saying thing I didn't give out? Nobody? Amen. Glad to see Hope here tonight. Amen. Praise God. Give her a great big hand clap. Amen. Glad to see Brother Burley. Amen. Praise God. Good to see Brother CJ and all them. They're, they're just family. Amen. Uh, and good to see Brother Parks. Amen. Praise God. I'm glad he made it back. Amen. I'd like for everybody to remember the Osborne family and remember my brother Fuzz and pray for all these. Amen. We know there's nothing impossible with God. Amen. So we are asking you to pray. Amen. And uh, it's good to have Sister Sammy here from West Virginia. <laughs> Sister Charlotte. Amen. <laughs> Sister Sammy, you've done a great job. Great job. Amen. Praise God. Good to have Sister Ella Jean here. Amen. From down in Bristol, Tennessee. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And she told me tonight that... Uh, uh, Baby doll got saved. Amen. Praise God. So that's great. Amen. Hope to see him walk through these doors. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Amen. So we just love you. It's hard for me to make good to see uh, Sister Kathy from Bristol also. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Good to have Sister Faith with us tonight and every night. Amen. Praise God. Yes, I do. Praise the Lord. And you know what? I thank God that I'm here. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. And I want to thank uh, uh, Brother Austin. Where's he at? Amen. Oh, back here in the corner. Amen. Praise God. Brother Gene done a good job. Amen. I'm proud of him. It's one thing I can say about Brother Gene. Amen. He never refused. I asked him to do something. Amen. And he does a lot of things I don't ask him to do. And I find out later that he done it. Thank God for Brother Christopher this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm glad God has gave us extra people to work. Amen. Praise the Lord. Even Friday night, I had Brother Turry and Roger and them lined out. If we didn't get back from Bristol in time for the service Friday night, I said, 7 o'clock, you all start singing. 
And I said, we'll be in whenever we can. But we got there in time. God made a way. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I want to give my wife a great big hand. <laughs> Even the undertaker got on to her. The doctor told me to take her home and let her lay down and rest. But she's been with me so long, she's just like me. She said, I've got to go. She went Friday night, she sung a song. She went Saturday, she sung a song. And I'm proud of her. God is working the miracle for her. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. We just don't know when to quit. Amen. Matter of fact, if God calls you to do a job, you can't quit. Amen. And I don't believe in can't. I believe in taking that T off and that cane that says swap. Can. Amen. I'm proud of my son-in-law. Amen. He holds my trash off. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. <laughs> he, he stayed with me all through that funeral. Amen. Yes, he did. He was there Friday night. He was there Saturday. Brother J.R., I don't know what I'd do without you, honey. Amen. I really don't. Thank God. It's, uh, he does so much. And I hardly ever say anything. But sometimes it comes a time you need to move over just a little bit and let somebody help carry your load. Amen. Praise God. Appreciate all the help, all the ones that works with us and works for us and what have you. Amen. I'm not a boss. I've got a white hat hanging on the wall, but I used to be a boss. But my wife said I'm not a boss no more. Amen. Used to be. Amen. Like Sister Woody, she used to be a nurse, and she thought she was after she retired and gave her license up. Granny said, you're not a nurse. You just used to be. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. But thank God. I, I'm, I'm glad you all received me tonight. I appreciate you and worship the Lord and done what you can. So we love you. We thank God for you. Nobody's got nothing on your heart. I guess McDonald's is still open. They know. So I love you. God bless you. My son-in-law said, shut up so I can go. <laughs> So specific about the prophet. 